So it had been on my mind for quite a while to get back out into this field where I came out to about six months ago to try and photograph some deer, but I had made a crucial, crucial mistake. So I figured today, on a nice early fall afternoon, I would grab my gear, head on out, and try and finish what I had started. So, I am back to finish something I started maybe four months ago, five months ago, maybe even more. Okay, so if this spot looks familiar, it's because it is. I'll put a link up to the video over here, but last time I was here, I made a crucial, crucial mistake. I left the audio levels on my camera on. So, when I hit the record button to record some video, it beeped, heard a bunch of ruckus behind me. I knew instantly I made a mistake. So I come back this time, try and finish what I started, and try and get some good photos and some good video, and, uh, and actually just get out in nature a little bit. So the field is literally right behind me. And last time I was here when I made that crucial mistake, I set up down that way, which is towards the rear end of the field. And that was another mistake because there's like a stream back there and there's some wetlands and that's actually like where the deer hang out. So this time I'm setting up in this corner of the field so I can look down that way, have a clear opening. So hopefully I won't get spotted or I won't be heard is actually what I should say. I got about four hours before the sun sets and I'm gonna go get situated in that corner of the field right over there. I'm gonna get my camo suit on, get the camera set up, all that stuff, and we're just gonna hang tight. It just feels good to be out here, man. I haven't been out in quite a while. So as I headed out into the field, I found a nice little spot in the back corner, tucked away, where I can put my camouflage on and kind of blend right into the background. So that's exactly what I did. I got dressed, I got a little situated, got my gear together, made sure everything was good, ready to go with the camera settings, and then I did what every wildlife photographer does. I sat there and I waited, and I waited, and I waited. kind of tucked myself back a little bit more because sometimes the deer come out that way so I have just some weeds here kind of blocking me but typically they come out down at the end of the field uh, and that's what I'm hoping happens tonight of course with the animals everything is always unpredictable so you never know what's gonna happen I'm just gonna sit tight let nature forget about me and just let the Sun go down so after sitting around for about another hour and a half or so, the sun was starting to set and I thought to myself, you know what, maybe it's just not your night, Al. And right around that time, I saw something out of the corner of my eye. And at first I thought it was a bird, and then I looked closer, it was no bird. It was a doe with two little ones right behind her.
think they're gone. They ran back in the woods. They can smell me and they knew something wasn't right. Wow. I mean, all I can say is wow. That was unbelievable. She came up. Gotta be 20 yards in front of me. Was just sniffing me out. Knew something wasn't right. But that camo, boy. But that camouflage really does its job. Felt so good getting out here. Like I said, it has been a while since I've been out and I've really, really missed this. Anyways, guys. The sun is well set by now. If you're still watching, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I got a lot more videos coming up. Yeah, it's gonna be good stuff. I got landscapes, nature, and wildlife videos coming up. And it's the beginning of fall, about a week. I'm leaving, going up to Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, New York. So I'm gonna try to make as many vlogs as I can. Anyways, if you're still here, thank you. Appreciate it so much. Hit the like button, any comments or questions, leave them down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.